Hey, welcome to the Geek Static. I am about to start stamping some books. And by that, I mean I have a personal library stamp that I purchased to start putting into my books. I've already started. I've put um, the stamp in all of my canon books. Now I just need to do all the expanded universe books. I've been working my way slowly on those. Got about half of them done. Um, I know this is just a spur of the moment uh, video. So welcome if you join. If not, well, maybe you'll see this later. Uh, it's all quiet in the house. Everybody is in bed. My wife's gone to the gym. So I am going to do a quick stream, stamping some books. And if you guys wanted to chat, we can do so until one of the kids freaks out downstairs and the wife comes home and I need to get off here pretty quick. But uh, yeah, this personal stamp that I bought is from Etsy. Uh, it was like 23 bucks. And I, hey Rob, welcome. And I got some ink, some archival ink. And hopefully the uh, video is doing well today. Do, if you guys have seen my past videos and how crappy it looks, is there an improvement? Is there a drastic improvement? A somewhat okay improvement? Um, but yeah, this archival ink is uh, what I picked up. Hey, Jeffrey. And this stuff is acid free, permanent, and it's waterproof designer series. Um, yeah, arch archival quality is good. Awesome. Well, I I did get a new computer. Uh, didn't think it was actually going to happen so soon, but it did. Some awesome sales went on, so I thought, hey, uh, better get the computer now while it's on sale. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for joining me, guys. I really don't know what to talk about. I just thought I'd stamp some books, turn on the live video, and start... Uh, Start chatting. Do you guys stamp your books? Have you ever seen anybody do such a thing? Is it silly? And sometimes you just don't know where to stamp in the book because there's text everywhere. Star Wars Tales from the New Republic has uh, got something written on almost every page. Uh, so, uh, hmm, interlude. It's going to do it on the... They have to complicate things. Why did they do this? The backside of the contents page is blank. So I'll stamp that right there. And I'll show you guys what that stamp looks like. From the library of Matthew Wilson, The Geek Static. You've only ever seen librarians in movies uh, in, t in TV stamp books. Yeah. I don't know why I got the idea, but I thought, hey, that'd be kind of cool to put my own like custom thing in all my books. I mean, I don't plan on ever getting rid of them. I just thought it was cool, you know. Maybe if it, uh, maybe I die and these books, uh, maybe the wife sells them, gets rid of them, and they float around and you pick one up in your used bookstore and you're like, oh, hey, I used to watch this guy's video. <laughs> Morbid thought. But, yeah, there's uh, Star Wars Allegiance. Should I stay in that one? I uh, have officially started rereading or not rereading, but getting back into uh, Rogue Planet. I'm uh, like chapter 20 or 21 now. So it's uh, full force reading Rogue Planet. And I am I thought about going back and starting over since it's been about a year since I started reading the book, but I won't. I'll just pick it up where I left off and then read the uh, Essentials Reader, the Essential Reader's Companion to see if uh, it refreshes some of the stuff that happened in the beginning. Maybe look at somebody else's review, and then uh, maybe that'll spark up some memory for the beginning of the book. But, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. There are some goofy parts in it that uh, I have noticed. So here's another book. that every, Something is on every single page. What, uh, what am I supposed to do, guys? It's on Splinter of the Mind's Eye. Um, I'll just put it over some of the text, I guess. But uh, there was one part that I kind of I made myself laugh with it. Um, I even I took a picture of it. I'll, I'll tell you guys what I found that uh, made me laugh. Obi-Wan Kenobi, he says, um, well, here's what the book says. says Obi-Wan, however, had carefully kept preconceptions from taking hold. Sorry. Um, I'm a horrible reader, by the way. When I read out loud, I get all nervous and stuff. So Obi-Wan, however, had carefully kept preconceptions from taking hold. He was open to anything and thus found the reception and the spare 
quarters, if quarters they were, interesting. These people did not feel the need to impress. I thought, huh, that's kind of funny if you replace some of those words with uh, books, movies, and Disney. Be like, Obi-Wan, however, had carefully kept preconceptions from taking hold. He was open to anything and thus found the books and movies, if movies they were, interesting. Disney did not feel the need to impress. Made myself laugh. Anyway, I know that's tacky. There was another line in there from uh, Kenobi that I was impressed with, actually. Uh, the unknown is a place where we can discover who we truly are. Wise words. Rob, 200 years from now, the book this book belongs to Matthew from the Geek's Attic. Money! Yeah, right. Be awesome. Maybe one day when I become a uh, an author myself. That's the goal. I would love to be able to write a book. It's so hard to find the time lit these days. Um, I used to be in a writer's group, and I remember one of the guys. One of the guys did get uh, published. He did a self-publishing, and I actually reviewed his book on here, on YouTube. Uh, it was a good book. It's funny because like I, me and a couple other guys, helped him, not not write it, but we edited his work every week. We would bring in the stuff that we had done, our writing, and we trade it. We critique everybody's work, give it back. They would edit their stuff and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, his his book is called "The Tr Your Truth Is Out There." He had a professional artist do the cover that had done other sci-fi books that were done by. Uh, I can't, I'm not even going to pretend I know who the author of those famous books were, but they were famous. There's a famous author that the guy did artwork for, but um, your truth is out there. You guys, go check out that review when you get a chance. Maybe you can pick that book up um, and just know that, hey, the Geek Static helped edit this guy's work. He was supposed to be working on book two, but never got around to it, got busy. We all The job that we all worked at together, we all got laid off and had to move on to do other, other jobs, but uh, yeah. They told me before it was before I had my first kid, like, well, uh, you better get it done now before you get that kid, because once the kid's here, you're not going to be able to get a chance to write it for about 18 years. Well, sadly, I think that might be the truth. So I haven't been able to do anything. Got ideas. Don't really want to share my ideas. You know, you know how the Internet works. People like to take stuff here. I'm at uh, the uh, Mandalorian armor. Stamping that one. And don't tell me they did. Uh, oh, no. Okay. I'm telling you guys, stamping your books is pretty fun. It's relaxing. Jeffrey says it would be great to write a Star Wars novel. That, yeah, it would. And speaking of, like, writing Star Wars books, the thing that I'm weirded out by is uh, Delilah S. Dawson. You know, she wrote for the new canon stuff. She wrote Phasma and Galaxy's Edge. I can't remember what else, if, if anything else. But she, I looked up, I like to look up these authors sometimes, and uh, she actually wrote under a different pen name or alias. She was like an uh, exotic book author. Uh, yeah, uh, wrote Erotica. How weird is that? What, what pervert at Del Rey said, let's, I know who we should hire. This lady, I don't, can't remember if she has a bunch of sexual stuff in her books. I don't think she did. This is so weird. And you hear some people like, oh, for their writing, their novel debut, a Star Wars book. How the heck did they get that job? I want that job. Hey, Del Rey, I'll write your book. I'll write you a Star Wars book. I'll write you any book. But I don't know if Star Wars would be really a fun book to read or to write now in canon because, you know, there's a story group. And I'm sure, you know, you always hear in the movies, well, you know, uh, interference from the uh, the executives. You know what I'm saying? You, you, I'm sure you write something and then it's reviewed and they're like, well, maybe you should go back and add this type of a character in, you know. Check. You have these check boxes you need to hit. The uh, the PC boxes. Just, just write a fun story. 
Let's write something that matters. This is like the last stream I, I had on Thursday. Talk about let's have things that matter. Why can't we have stories that actually matter? We have some cool stuff, but none of it ever really pays off, which is sad. It sucks. Jacob, hey, hey, Jacob, how's it going? Gosh, man, I'm almost done with this stack. I'm not going to get up and do more. But you can see I've still got a big mess back here of a bunch of books. I keep saying I'm going to do a stream with all of those um, and show you what they all are. It's a bunch of fantasy stuff that I have and novelizations, fun little little novels there. Uh, I would like to show you. Some of them you've seen before in another video, if you've seen that video, of course. But, man, guys, I want to show you that again. Pretty cool. Sometimes I regret adding that uh, the apostrophe in there, the Geek's Attic, even though grammatically, you know, it's supposed to have the, the owner. This is the Geek's Attic, but it kind of just throws it off when it's in there. Oh, well, I'm not going to worry about it. It's another flip of too many. Too, sorry, that was too loud. But uh, what are you guys in the comments? What are you guys reading? You guys reading any Star Wars right now? Fantasy? What are you doing? See any old old movies lately that you're getting caught up on that you've never seen before? Oh, Rob. Oh, no, Rob. Uh, we have space tampons. What more could you want? Well, yeah. Um, I could do without any of that stuff in Star Wars. Good. Periods, teenage periods. I would like to talk more about that book, but I don't want to go into like the spoiler stuff because I don't want to get in trouble. It's just so much a nonsense. Uh, what did you, okay, Jacob, have you recovered from reading Queen's Peril? Not really. I think about it when I'm at work and I get depressed. And then I read Rob's comments and it's just, you know, it's, it's funny. I crack, it, it, the stuff's hilarious. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's ruining Star Wars for me. Like it really was a disappointment. I, I don't like where they went with it. It was such a dull story. They didn't tell anything. I mean, okay, if you've seen the Phantom Menace once, twice, which I know you guys have probably seen it a million times, so you know the story of the Phantom Menace. But someone watches the movie once or twice, they want to read this book. They're gonna have no idea what's going on. Because it it's that dependent on the film. That sucks. A book should be able to stand on its own, and it doesn't. I mean, you'll be reading, uh, oh, and she ran down the hall, and then it cuts. <laughs> and there's one line, but it, it has like a, a, a section where it blocks off text. I don't know what if there's a technical term for that or not, but it's like uh, it cuts it, and it says, Anakin loves flying. Cuts it, goes back to the queen. You'll read all this garbage, and then it'll go back to Anakin in that little little dissected area and it says Anakin really loves flying cuts goes back to the story you're like what what is this but some of you will like it and that's cool everybody has their own opinion which is good what are you guys saying over here I asked you a question did anybody answer it uh, Matt Paul you're reading Revan I enjoyed that book is it your first time, or are you rereading it? Uh, Jeffrey, I'm reading Misery by Stephen King. See, I have not ever read a Stephen King novel. Uh, I really like that movie that's based off of his stuff, uh, Pet Cemetery, the original one. Love that. I, I watch it almost every year around Halloween, but I've never read the book. I do have it back there. See, I keep forgetting this. This is all mirrored. Right back there, you'll find that uh, Pet Cemetery novel. Bryce trying to finish book five of Game of Thrones series. It's a journey, I'll say, despite being 1,100 pages. Yeah. For some reason, I have never been interested in Game of Thrones. It, I like fantasy stuff, too, but there's just something about it. I don't think it's that whole, well, it's super popular, so I guess I better not like it. It doesn't have anything to do with that. Um, Rob, oh, that just reminded me. I picked up Ghostbusters 1 and 2 on Blu-ray today. That's awesome. I have the uh, 4K edition right here of one and two. It comes with the uh, Blu-ray and digital. It's funny. I, I don't I don't have a 4K player, but you know, one of these days I might. Let's 
that's cool. Um, and congratulations on finally getting Ghostbusters. Jacob, Queen's Peril is going to lead you to drinking yourself into ruin. Well, I'll drink to that one. Um, Mad Mashad, I paused my reading of Dune to read the novelization of the original Spider-Man movie. That's cool. Pretty good so far. You know, I've seen that novelization in the bookstore several times. They've actually, the one that I go to, I've seen it, uh, the whole, like, one, two, and three. And I don't know why, but I never picked them up. I should have. They have that, and I always see the Incredible Hulk. Remember that one? Was it? I can't remember the director's name. Something Lee. Bryce says, and if you've recovered from the Aftermath trilogy, Matt, you'll pull through from Queen's Peril. Yeah, we believe in you. Yeah, I hope so. You know, Aftermath didn't have space periods from 14-year-old girls. I mean, that's going to be weird for, like, younger kids to read, right? You're Say you're 11 or 12 and you can read good. I don't know. what I can't remember when I started reading, which, well, I never did because I hated books growing up. I can't. I don't know the age group for these things, but uh, can you imagine a 10, 11, 12 year old reading some boy? He's like, "Oh, and she's her menstruation blood stained the sheets," and you're like, "What?" Then you like type it in, like, "What is menstruation?" And then, wow, Google's gonna really explain that one to you. <laughs> oh man, Star Wars, taking away innocence, really. Rob, want to start Darth Bane Rule of Two tomorrow? Do it. Darth Bane stuff is freaking awesome. I love Darth Bane. Jacob, you're reading a lot of comics, some of the old New 52 stuff. Nice. And you're also uh, trying to find some of those Indiana Jones novels, but really, uh oh, it just moved. They're really hard to find in bookstores. Yep. Yeah. Quality autism, am I late? Well, no, no, not really. I'm just on here. I was stamping my books, which I, I've got two more left. Uh, I'm going to hang out on here until one of the kids cries or the wife calls and says that she's on her way home. Because, you know, probably going to have to go watch a show or something tonight. That old man now, then I don't want to do anything but hang out on my computer and stamp books. Bryce, I'm not sure, Claudia... You're not so sure Claudia Gray would uh, go that far in a YA novel. No, I don't think she would. Like, what are you thinking, Disney and EK? I know. It's so weird. Who who allows that? It's so freaking weird. And then the tor there's torture in the book, too. Some 11-year-old girl gets tortured. Weird. Can you imagine a 14-year-old girl ruling an entire planet? Be bad. I'm probably get some 14-year-old girl's going to find this video and freak out on me. Uh oh, then maybe I'll get activity on Twitter. People, people shouting at me on Twitter. I never get any re any action on Twitter. Nobody cares. Um. Okay, I just got my stack. That's one complete shelf done on the legend stuff. I saw a picture on Instagram from uh, a guy that was at a store called Ollie's. You guys have Ollie's around you? If you do, you need to go check it out because he posted uh, Star Wars Legends comics. Like, they had a ton of Star Wars Legends material at the Ollie's place. And Ollie's is a place that's like a discount. Like, everything's real cheap. And I, like, zoomed up on the price tag. And it was, like, one of those huge Legends collector, you know, the collections of many, many books. I don't know what. It, there's, like, a trade. And then there's something else. Omnibus, I guess it would be, for, like, six bucks. That's awesome. So when I get off work tomorrow, go to Ollie's. And I said I wouldn't collect the novels, but if or the the, um, the comics, but if I find something that cheap and there's multiple comics that in the same storyline, I don't know, might have to get some. Quality autism says that's on George. Yeah, yeah. George never would have sold. We would have had the expanded universe still going on. Wouldn't have space periods. Then again, we might. It's 2020. Who knows? Got to do everything now. Bryce, if it was Tinel, uh, yeah, I don't get that. If Tinel Kaya, I'm dull. I don't know what that means. Improv also, okay, now you now explain how this stream did not get a pop-up notice. I just happened to see it up. Yeah, it's just, yeah, 
spur of the moment thing. And I'm excited the kids are actually sleeping. They're usually still up like fighting each other. It's a five and a two year old. They share a room. <laughs> sometimes they're good, sometimes they're they're not. Uh Jacob, that's what uh that's why I, I was to choose a planet to be from, be Dantooine, definitely not Naboo, since the queen always seems to be underaged. Yeah. And the kids, okay, the queen's shadow basically, or queen's peril, says that, uh, like, all these, all the kids are basically, like, prodigies. They're all genius. Uh, they go to school, and I guess at the age of 15, they're done with it. Even before that, I mean, Queen, she wouldn't go into school. She just got elected Queen. So weird, so goofy to, to when you really look at it. But I know a lot of that stuff wasn't E.K. Johnston's fault. George Lucas set up that material, but being as they can reboot everything like they did, they could have just retold that story a little bit differently. Like, oh, she got in because her mother was the Queen or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to stop blabbing. I sound like a moron. Uh, B's comic reviews. I got a whole bunch of Star Wars comics at Ollie's. That's awesome. Like recently or like a long time ago? Because every time I go, they don't have any Star Wars stuff. Got plenty of Bibles, that's for sure. Which I've bought a few from there too. Which I'll have to do that. I'll have to show you guys my Bible collection. I've got a lot. Um, Ollie's, like the supermarket? Nope, not that. Ollie's with an O. O L L I E S. They don't really have a website to sell things on. It's just like a the website's like an ad an ad page. A legacy. There you go, Jacob. That's what I was looking for. The big collections of books. How much I love Cade. I'm addicted to Destix Skywalker. Oh, okay, okay. That refers to your last last comment. Ollie's. Yeah, B's got it. Matt and Shot. Oh, oof. I'm dumb. Nope. Nope. I'm dumb. Probably sounded like I said all these, all these, all these. See, it's all on the way you say it. Clear or not clear? Hey, uh, Mashad, are you uh, are you still working on that Lego thing? Oh, you said you were busy. Tinica, yeah. Uh, on the question of a fourteen-year-old ruining a planet, Rob. If by om omnibus you mean the white cover Dark Horse omnibus collections. Six dollars is an absolute steal. This books go from anywhere from twenty to two hundred. Yeah, two hundred bucks. That's insane. Even I, I'm surprised still at the the amount that trade paperbacks cost. Sometimes you can find them on sale for a good deal, like uh, Barnes and Noble. Obviously, not the best place to buy books because they're overpriced on a lot of their stuff. But uh, typically between fifteen and twenty four dollars. Um, that's ridiculous. I know a lot of the comic, the trades that I have for Canon, I bought on eBay, like long after they'd come out. Uh, they were just, I guess, overstock stuff. So they were like eight bucks, which I thought that was good. Eight bucks in free shipping. I bought like four at a time for a couple of weeks. Um, quality autism. I think they couldn't change the Queen stuff because they still consider the prequel novelizations Canon and it's in there. Oh, I didn't know that they had Queen stuff in there because I listened to the audiobook of the novelization for uh, the Phantom Menace and I need to actually read it so I can retain things better. Emperor Vals and Plagueis, Amidala was given the title after the king abdicated due to scandal then killed by Plagueis Sidious. Wow, see I don't remember that either. That's another book. I always think I've read Plagueis twice. Well, I read it once, listened to an audiobook once, and for some reason I always got super distracted when I was reading it and had a really hard time following what was going on. So I'm definitely going to be rereading that one for sure because i got to uh, get a review done for that one. Have I played Star Wars Bounty Hunter? Nope. The only Star Wars games that I've played were on Nintendo 64, and there was uh, two of them on computer, like Jedi Outcast and Outcast 2 think there's one or Jedi Academy and the other one Kyle Katarn I think was the lead character's name who he had to like train to be the become the Jedi again throughout the throughout the game that was a lot of fun I really like that a lot be awesome to have that on the, the Xbox oh yes uh Jedi outcast no wait, Jedi fallen order that one that I played that one recently I was able to beat that I'm like 98 percent done uh meaning 
I need to go back and find a couple of little hidden things throughout the game, but uh, story is 100% done. B, B's comic reviews spent $42 at Ollie's this past weekend on Star Wars. That's awesome. So I'm, um, I'm what if you want to say what state are you in B's comics? So the guy that I talked to or that I saw his picture, I think he's like in New Jersey or something. So it'd be awesome if these things are everywhere. I'm excited to go check it out tomorrow. It's one of those things I'll be looking at the clock so the day will go by forever. Jacob, the game really fleshes out episode two. Okay. You guys remember Shadows of the Empire video game in X-Wing Rogue Squadron on Nintendo 64? Do you guys, did you guys have a Nintendo 64? Rashad, yeah, you've been busy with school and work. You're writing notes while I'm watching the stream. Awesome start taking pics on Thursday since I get off work early. Great. I'm looking forward to that. It'll be fun. Uh, Quality Autism, want to hear something funny? Yes. Uh, the new Jedi Order series from the EU is basically called Heir to the Jedi Knights in Germany. Oh, huh, wow. That's pretty cool. Heir to the Jedi novel from the new canon is horrible. See, that has to... What is the worst Star Wars canon book? Is it really... Aftermath, no. That was just a big upset when it came out. Story does suck, but more of a disappointment when it came out. Um, so I understand when new readers come in and they're like, oh, I read the Aftermath trilogy and it was cool. It's like, that's because you had like come in late, didn't know whenever they said, oh, after Return of the Jedi, this is the story you want. Well, it's not. And they didn't go through the whole Chuck Wendig freak out either. Which that was insane. But Jacob, yeah, the only new canon I will buy is video games. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. I wish they would release a soundtrack for Jedi Fallen Order because that music was awesome. Disappointed they haven't released the soundtrack. B, you're in Maryland. Okay, so you're. I have a friend that actually lives in Maryland. He's in the Air Force. Flies helicopters. He doesn't fly them. He sits in the helicopter. Uh, Jacob, yeah. Okay, legendary character Dash Rindar. Yeah, and his shoulder pads. Yeah, I like Dash Rendar. I don't care what people say about him. He was cool, especially his spaceship. I need to pull out my old Star Wars toys. I have a bunch of the Power of the Force toys and the ships. I've got quite a few of the ships, too. They're all in the attic. I need to pull those out and uh, do a stream with those. That'd be cool. You have uh, Most of the weapons are still with them. I know a lot of the toys I have from when I was younger than that, uh, I'll have a figure, but none of the uh, none of the weapons or little attachments or anything. Bryce, I did those games from my childhood. That and Rebel Assault 2 and on the PlayStation it gave me the first headache at four. The Tie Fighter Canyon mission. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember the Tie Fighter Canyon mission. I remember the A wing was really fast. It was fun to pilot. Love your Bubba Gump shrimp hat. Yeah, see, it was funny is I've actually never bought Bubba Gump shrimp hat. I had one that my mom and dad brought back from somewhere. It was like a trucker style. It was my favorite. It was black and white. Uh, then my sister, when she went to uh, like a trip to New York, brought me one back. So I wore out the first one to where it was like, you can't wear it anymore. Then my sister, I mean, she's like, how come you never wear that Bubba Gump hat that I gave you? I like, oh, I will. And then through college, that was my Bubba Gump hat. And then this one, just got this one not too long ago. Another one for my mom. Her and her uh, sister went on some cruise. She brought this one back. One's from New York, I know. The other one, maybe Vegas. This one, I think it says on here somewhere. Maybe not. Oh, well. Well, and she also brought my mom also brought me back another one. She her and her sister go on trips uh, Went to Maine and found me a red one so that when this one's too nasty I'm gonna move to my red one, which is like the one that uh, Forrest Gump actually wears in the movie Jacob says yeah, the Outrider was awesome. Yes. I love how it's in the uh, the special editions you see it when uh, the Kenobi and uh, Luke we're going into Tatooine. The Kyle. Kyle is my favorite game character, says Jacob. Yeah, he was cool. I wonder if they ever, do they ever release soundtracks to the games? 
Because I don't, I don't think they ever did. Shadows of the Empire has a release. I've listened to like the free samples on iTunes, but I've never downloaded the music. Heard that it was just okay. On a writing level, quality says on a uh, writing level, the aftermath trilogy is worse. But air was just ugh, noodles and math. Yes, math. And by the given was the alien's name. Uh, just what I wanted in a fun loop adventure. Yep, math. So it was stupid. Didn't R two D two use a blaster too? He, he picked it up and was using it. It was dumb. Adam, hey, bro, hey, Adam, for my old channel. Okay. I remember playing Shadows of the Empire on N64. I sucked at it. <laughs> yeah, that's you gotta select easy. I, I always sucked at video games. I still do. Um, Jacob, to be honest, most of the new canon comics are worse than the novels. Yeah, I gave up on the comics. I mean, I, I, I kind of don't want to give up on them. I, I haven't bought any in a while. Like I think the last Star Wars line that I have might be. The trade paperback volume eight so i don't have volume nine or anything that takes place after that i believe i moved all my comics off of my canon bookshelf to they take up a lot of space i put them in a shelf in my closet i need to go look at them and see where i'm at and debate on uh continuing them or not it's just so expensive you know it's hard to keep up because i do want to read the expanded universe i want to get caught up on some stuff I've got to finish Rogue Planet before the novelization for The Rise of Skywalker comes out. I have to, or I'm going to just hate myself. <laughs> uh, these Outriders basically Ebon Hawk. Okay, yeah, that's us. Yeah, that was Ebon Hawk is a. Uh, is that the ship from Cloak of Deception? Or am I making stuff up again? Jeffrey? Are you looking forward to the Thrawn Ascendancy novels? Yeah, kind of. Um, a lot of my uh, enthusiasm and uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Excitement has been kind of died down with the books, especially after Queen's Peril. You're like, oh my gosh, it's a bloody disaster. Uh, Rob, I still love the Echo Base graphics from Shadows of the Empire. I don't care how low detail it is. Me too, man. Everything from Shadows of the Empire is just incredible. I love that game. I still have my Nintendo 64. I still have that game and Rogue uh, Squadron. It'd be cool if I could hook it up to my computer and do like a stream of playing the game. It'd be a horrible video because I'd just be dying every 10 seconds, I'm sure. Um, I remember there was some funny stuff written in the credits on Shadows of the Empire. I can't really remember what they were, like Wampa Cheese. Something stupid like that was in there. Just like these little snug little things in there. It's probably, you find it on Google, I'm sure. Uh, quality, I own the Shadows of the Empire game. Still need to play it. Just got done playing through the Jedi Knight game and now working on KOTOR. Awesome. See, I never played the Knights of the Old Republic stuff. See, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't have an interest in that one either for some reason. The game that I got into in college was World of Warcraft. I miss playing that so much. But never got into the Star Wars games like that. The online stuff. Uh, R2 shot someone. Yeah. And there were worms that drill into your brain. Start bringing back those memories, yes. The worm, I remember the, the things that drilled into the brain. I thought that was when the book kind of got a little interesting. It kind of turned into a horror. But then it just kind of got abandoned and they moved on to goofy stuff. Hey, Mashad says, Darth Vader by Charles Soule is amazing. You should start there if you want to get back into the comics again, into the canon comics. I can't remember which Darth Vader books that I read. I Wait. Okay, we, we talked about that on my last stream. That's the one where he's, like, hunting down Jedi, I think, right? I um, think I have trade paperback three to that one. I think, I think there's another one or two more trades that I didn't get for that one. And I, I do remember liking the last Vader one that uh, I was reading. Uh, Bryce says, I'll say Yuzon, Yuzon Vong. I, say, I don't know how to say it. Yuzon Vong should have happened. I'm basing that on Davy Jones and his crew and how good the CGI and effects looked on them. They could have done the same for the Vong and their ships. See, I don't even know what the Vong look like. I guess they're on the cover of one of, the, one of those Expanded Universe books, aren't they? 
like real creepy, like bug-like skeletal thing. Adam Bryant, like the new computer, buddy. Video quality looks awesome. Thank you. Good. Good to hear. I also changed the light bulb on the lamp thing that hangs down right here. I was using, uh, like, what well, would have another bulb? Like one of those antique bulbs. So it kind of made things a little bit more yellow, too. Which, you know, this thing looks antique. Did I just make it go out of focus? I've got to get used. I'm still using my uh, webcam that I bought not too long ago. I, I didn't use my computer's webcam. But I figured that when the computer, it probably has a lot to do with the webcam, too, you know. I don't know anything about computers, guys. I'm an idiot. Bryce makes much more for a brutal, terrifying force than the First Order. Yeah, see, they introduced something in... Hold on. Darth Vader comic is at Ollie's. Okay, thanks, B. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going tomorrow, and I'm going to see what they've got. I need to, That's why I need to go down and take a picture of what I have so I can know exactly what I need. Um, the Bryce is, makes for a much more terrifying force than the First Order. See, the Grisk... We kind of touched on this too in my last stream on Thursday with uh, Star Raptor and Bryant's uh, Nerd Pub. What if the Grisk were those beings in Exegol? I don't know if you guys have seen the movie when Palpatine's there and there's all these people that are cheering like, something. Why couldn't that have been the Grisk? Why couldn't the Grisk have been part of Sidious's plan the whole time? When when Thrawn came in, he's like, "There's a threat bigger than." Anything we've ever seen before, the Emperor could have been like, ah, let me go check it out. Goes over there and just basically turns into their master. So then he's like, yes, this is the force that I've needed to take over everything. That would have been awesome. But nope. Bryce, you can Google search in images and uh, where Lucas approved art of what they looked like. Okay. Okay, yeah, for the uh, Yuzong Vong. I might do that right now real quick. If I could spell it right. Is your spelling? I'm sure your spelling is correct on the Yu, Yuzong Vong, Yuzhong. I don't know. You hear people say different things all the time, and you're like, what? I don't know. I, autism, you can't get over. Exegol sound like a gas station. It does. Hi, right, welcome to Exegol. 10% ethanol gas. Kill your vehicle. The First Order are one of the worst part of the new canon. Yeah, I'm really disappointed that the movies didn't go into too much depth with anything. It just all was real shallow, you know, the overall. One of my buddies at work, we, we started talking about this stuff today. We talk about it a lot, actually, Star Wars, and how it's like, man, I kind of want to read the Colin Trevorrow script. But then again, I don't know if I want to do that because then I'll just be sad that maybe it didn't happen because I've, I've heard good things about it like this definitely should have been the story that they went with but you know okay the use on bong dude looks pretty cool this hopefully it'll uh look okay that that does look pretty terrifying hey star raptor sent a message and for some reason not looking. whoa okay he just sent me an image of a marvel what in the world? I don't know if you can see the uh, the color of Luke's save blade on this comment. I don't even know what this is. He hasn't told me yet. Ah, sorry, guys. Luke, it's Luke in his pilot suit, lightning behind him in some mountains, and he's got a yellow blade. Is this really going to be stupid on me? It's too bright to show. Okay, I won't do that. But, yeah, a yellow blade. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> we had to tell Star Raptor. Uh, streaming now just showed your image. This is fun hanging out. I'm actually, I, while you guys are here, I am doing a stream on Thursday, as usual, 9 p.m. Central Time. So hopefully you guys can make it. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet. I kind of want to do a uh, another watch along thing, something on Disney Plus. You guys all have Disney Plus? Or uh, Netflix. It seems like it'd be fun to get on that. Something that everybody can access, you know. Uh, bring up your window of me doing my stupid stream and then your window of watching the movie. And we can watch it together like we're hanging out and we can talk. Oh, I'm an idiot. Um, Equality says, I wonder the rumor about George 
wanting the son of Mortis as the main bad guy in his episode nine is true. Okay, you want to know if the rumor of George wanting the son of Mortis as the main bad guy in episode nine is true. It'd be nice to know a lot about George's thoughts. I, I would like to know more about what he thinks about all this stuff. I feel like I'm losing focus here for some reason. Why is that happening? Huh. Well, sorry if I'm blurry for some reason. My internet connection should be pretty good because I've plugged right into the router. I'm not doing this over Wi-Fi anymore. Um, Bryce, Jacob on the cover of Shadows of the Empire novel. Uh, Jacob, you've got Netflix, okay? Not Disney Plus. No, you don't have Disney Plus. Do the free, uh, free trial for seven days, and then you can watch The Mandalorian, and then you can cancel your service. I uh, have, okay, Emperor Voss, you have both Disney Plus and Netflix, so up for a simul, simul cast. Yeah, Jacob, you forgot about that. Remember, well, you could save it uh, Friday, right? Yeah, Friday's the 21st. That's when the, uh, well, no, maybe you don't want to do it. Because I don't know if the Clone Wars is going to be released all at once or if they're going to be doing the week weekly episodes. So most I, I have a feeling they're going to do the weekly releases, one episode per week. So maybe after that, uh, yes, yeah, Star Raptor, the Clone Wars on Friday. We're just saying Star Raptor is just one episode at a time. Okay, see, you're on top of this stuff, man. The King of Canon is in the chat, guys. Star Raptor knows everything. Canon. Um, where was I up here? Bryce says if he'd brought him in, then. Abeloff would have be would be and I'd be okay with that. I don't know what that is. See, I'm, it's just an expanded universe thing that I'm, I haven't been to yet. Mad Mashad weekly, yep. Yeah. Okay, uh, Jacob, I've seen the Mandalorian already with my friend's account. Okay, well, that's a smart move. So maybe you could wait until um, well, Clone Wars is all released, and then you can get your free trial or just use your friend's account. I feel like I'm getting blurry again, guys. I'm sorry. Maybe this camera does suck. Bryce says, welcome, Star Raptor. Okay, quality autism without spoiling anything, but if the rumor is true, George would not have thrown out the entire EU like some haters claim. Yeah, I don't think he really would have either. Probably would have, it would have just been more expanded stories. The graphics look stunning in the trailer for the, the, the uh, Clone Wars stuff. Uh... So yeah, the new computer, I did get a new computer. It's the uh, it's a new Mac. Yeah, I know people are like, why did you get a Mac? I I like the Apple stuff. I like how my phone connects with everything. All my music that I've purchased, all on here. My movies that I've purchased, all on here. I got the cloud thing going. I got it. I got it figured out. Um, and I don't want to do it on a Windows stuff. I don't like Windows. I never liked Windows. Just a thing that. Just a thing. But uh, where was I? Quality autism. I have a question for you. Because um, people, we I've been had conversations with a couple other people, and everybody wants to know. It's like quality autism. It's a very interesting username. Why is it quality autism? Um, Star Wars says hello to Bryce. B comic reviews. The yellow lightsaber and the pick your friend sent you is from the new comic. Yeah, I figured it was like a. Is it a new? Is it from to tomorrow? Is it a is it a preview for tomorrow or something that's coming soon? Because that's just really interesting. See, stuff like that makes me want to get back into the comics. Like, okay, well, maybe I do need to go pick up this this issue. But then it gets like I don't want to do issue by issue, and I'd rather do the trades. Sorry, as yeah, it's, uh, okay. I, I should read these things. Rob D says, oh, I also picked up the Rogue One novel. Good. I think you'll like that. Uh, yes, it's issue six of Star Wars. Okay, so issue six in Star Wars is now um, after Empire Strikes Back. So no Han Solo. Oh, is there any like Jabba stuff? Uh, okay, so that'll be in June. So issue six is going to be in June. Okay, issue three is out next Wednesday where Luke, Lando, and Leia go back to Cloud City. Okay, answering my questions before I can really ask them, I think. Uh, Bryce, yeah, Abeloth is another terrifying force of fate, the enforced of fate. 
is another terrifying force in fate of the Jedi. Won't spoil more. Hey, it's okay. When I when I got into the expanded universe, I was in a Barnes and Noble looking at the shelf, and some sweaty dude in a leather jacket and greasy hair comes up to me. Nice, you know, it was like I'm friendly to everybody. I'm not gonna be a jerk. He starts talking to me about the expanded universe, and then spoils everything in like the timeline in which I was reading. And I was just kind of like, oh, great, thanks, man. And I walked away. I wasn't rude to him. I was like, oh, that's neat. I got to go <laughs> before you ruin more. I didn't say that. but uh, Jabba showed up in issue two. Okay, Lando goes back to Tatooine and almost gets killed by the Rancor, but talks himself out of it. Hmm. <laughs> Lando talks himself out of a lot of stuff. Uh, looks, Look up Abeloth's pick. Okay. Not going to give me a virus, are you? Just kidding. Abeloth. A B. This is this is this is great, isn't it? A B L O T H. Abeloth. I should probably type in Star Wars after the fa after that. Yep. Star Wars pops up. Images. Let's see what? We, ew, what? Nah, what? Is that real? That creepy looking thing. That. Is that what you're talking about? Bryce says, now can we all agree Rogue One is better? Is is the better out of all the Disney can movies so far? I agree. I wouldn't mind a solo uh, sequel or uh, series sequel. I actually enjoyed that film too. Yep, Star Raptor agrees. Rogue One is is awesome. Uh, I gotta go. Mashad, have a good night. To you too, sir. Uh, quality autism. I once saw a conversation in the YouTube comments between two Star Wars nerds like us who got away in, who got way into detail and some jerk came in and said, that's some quality autism right there. <laughs> okay. And two, I actual, actually have autism and thought that it would be a funny and fitting name. That's awesome. Yeah, see, it's funny because I was wondering, we had, me and the guy were talking, it's like, the guy <laughs> you said, he was like, oh, I was trying to sleep the other night, and I just laid awake, and then this thought popped in my head. What kind of screen name is Quality Autism? Because <laughs> I'm like, um, maybe he has it. Maybe he – some funny thing. I don't know. It turns out to be both. Well, thank you for explaining. I feel, I feel better knowing about that now. <laughs> and to all the others wondering that I've had talks with, now we know. Thank you, Quality you're awesome. Uh, so yeah, beast. Yeah, that's creepy. Yes, that's her. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know that was a Star Wars. I remember I've seen that image before. I had no idea that it was actually Star Wars stuff. Uh, Adam, I need to read more Star Wars comics too. Only read Dark Empire trilogy. Gonna review it soon. Please do. I have, I think I have all those issues, single issues. I need to pull those out and read those because that would be a fun read. I love the um, the the covers for all that stuff. Oh, uh, awesome. Star Raptor sent me another an image of basically the updated uh, timeline. Cool infographic put out by Disney Plus account. Good. Glad they did that. It can help people. It'd be nice if they did that with the Clone Wars stuff so people can stay on track with that. Um, where was I here? Bryce Stafford. Yep, that's her, dude. Matthew, who has the coolest lightsaber in the EU? My pick, Tenel Ka. See, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I, I can't answer that. Um, Bryce Stafford, I sense a disturbance in the force. I feel like Matt Wilkins is going to raid the stream with Highlander talk. <laughs> it's possible. It's possible. Bees Comics, hey, talk to you too, man. Thanks for joining and giving some cool information. Uh, quality, thank you, and yes. Uh oh, it just it just bumped up somewhere. That's Abeloth, Big Mouth, Black Eyes, and Tentacles. Yeah, that's creepy. Stupid Chainsaw Productions. What up, my dudes? Hey. Kids are in bed. Wife went to the gym. I thought I'd jump on here real quick until she gets back. Hopefully she calls me before she does. She doesn't just walk in and yell something stupid. Uh, I want to send her a text and say, let me know when you're on your way. That might be something she probably already. She'll probably be pulling in. 
when you are on your way. Sorry, guys. It was, uh... Uh, Rob D., have you seen the special celebration cover of Queen's Shadow? It's actually really nice. I th think. But I don't remember it. Bees Comics, nice talking to you as well. Uh, Jacob, actually, I take that back. I'm going to say Kyle Katarn, first lightsaber given to him by Q. Ron. I don't know how you guys remember these names. So I'm reading, uh, like I said, Rogue Planet. I can't even remember the bad guy's name right now. Tarkin's in it, but the other guy, I already forgot. Um, my brain is just, it's fried. Um, stupid chains. All there can only be one Highlander. So stupid chains. Jeremy is going to go ahead and bring in the uh, Highlander talk. So thanks, um, Bryce, for bringing in the Highlander talk. <laughs> oh man. Yep. Adam inserted coin into the Highlander jar. Man, if only, if only that could happen. Not allowed to say Highlander anymore in the channel until. Uh, I read a book or watch a film. It's a film, right? A film and a TV series and a book and a comic. So it's great. I need to, when I go to the bookstore, I'm going to keep my eye out for it and see what's going on. Uh, Jeffrey says, live on the East coast. I have school tomorrow. See ya. Have a good day at school, Jeff. Pay attention. Don't jilly jack around. Uh, Quality Austin, do you think E.K. Johnson will write a third Padme novel and finish her Queen Amidala trilogy? Oh, gosh, what are they going to... Now the wife's calling me. Ugh. Should I, should I answer the phone? Somebody say yes, or should I hit ignore? Quick, quick. Somebody say answer or ignore. Nobody's saying anything. I'm gonna, I want to talk on the phone for a second. Hello? Are you on your way? Okay, I'm just making sure I'm. I, I did a quick stream, real quick. When, when you were walking in the door and saying something inappropriate, I'm on. I'm on live right now, talking to you. All right, bye. Okay, she's on her way. We got. I'm gonna wrap. You know, about ten minutes or so. Uh, sorry. Quality videos, guys, from the Geeks Attic. Um, where was I? Where was I, guys? I'm. I hope so. Uh. Oh yeah, you, you, Quality says that we're gonna get another tr uh, final book in the Queen Amidala trilogy. Man, I don't know what she could do in the Queen's Shadow. She died. Uh, I don't know. I hope not. I hope to God no. Please no. I mean, I guess it could take place during well, episode three. We could cover her in episode three. It'll just be Senator Palpit, Senator Palpit, Senator Amidala, and just everything that we don't see on camera. It'd be so boring. Yeah, Super Chainsaw agrees. Probably, and we will all hate it. Bryce, what up, Jeremy? If you're here, then I suppose Matt's not too far behind and rating the stream soon. And Jeremy hopes so. I'm so sorry, dude. It's, it's all good. Quality, Obi-Wan and Anakin are in Rogue Planet. Do you remember? Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I remember that part. Um... Quality autism, it will be Queen's End. Yeah, which is funny because Queen's End happened in Queen's Shadow. It'll be 400 pages of Padme dying of sadness in full detail, and that's it. Hey, you know, it might be. It's like that. And then her life flashed before her eyes. So then we just get a retelling of everything that happened in uh, the bo two books. I remember that one time I couldn't be Queen because my period interfered. And then, ugh, my gosh. What happened? Why are we reading Star Wars, guys? Why are we doing this to ourselves? Uh, Jeremy, who is that Sand Trooper in PFP? PFP? Anime? Rob, I don't know. I'm, I'm losing track of what you guys are doing here. Oh, I can actually see that. What are you talking about? What are you guys talking about? Oh, the yeah. Oh, God, I'm an idiot. Uh, the whole stupid E.K. Johnson thing, which, like I said, I said it in my review with some bozo. Some bozo said something on my review. I, I want to read this. I, it, it made me laugh. It legitimately made me laugh. And um, I'm not offended by it because I said I, I genuinely laughed. Uh, I posted my Queen's Peril review 
I'm gonna read you what you guys are saying real quick. Just ghost her. Okay, you guys, are, you guys got too late on the response there. Uh, Brian, fate is the result of having children. Well, for women, but personal experience, it happens to fathers as well. Don't know. I'm losing track of what was being said. Sand Trooper was a dude at a comic shop that I met on Free Comic Day. Oh, your uh, profile picture. Okay. My favorite trooper are the Scout Troopers. Those do look cool. My favorite troopers right now are probably the Death Troopers. I love their helmet design. Book three of the Queen's the Queen's pregnancy. Yeah. <laughs> Good one, Adam. Uh, and it'll open with her pissing on a pregnancy test. <laughs> yeah, the book will. Yeah, it's like, and then she urinated on, oh, gosh. I haven't had my period this month. What happened? Piss. Gosh. <laughs> Space pregnancy test, yeah. What, what was the joke back in, in the prequel time? They call it preggers, right? Oh, she's preggers. Preggers. <laughs> Gross. And it will end with Matt rocking back and forth in the straight jacket. Yeah. Okay, so what this guy said, I posted my review on Facebook into a couple different groups, which probably I'll get spammed one of these days. Like, you can't post. All you do is post your reviews. It's just like, I don't know anything else to say. Um, he says, crazy how such an unprofessional reviewer gets an ARC advanced review copy. Guess they just hand them out like candy these days. Okay. So I responded. I gave the laughy face. Like I said, I legitimately laughed out loud. It made me laugh. I said, this unprofessional has been reviewing since day one of New Canon and also appears on the paperback novel of uh, Battlefront 2 Inferno Squad. So, yeah. Yeah. And then I said, the best reviews are the honest reviews when the books are read with an open mind and a hope that what they read is incredible. And I seriously hope, like, I know I made jokes like, oh, this book, I'm so dreading this book. Because the the last one that she wrote was horrible. So I went into this one thinking, like, oh, man, it's going to be bad. But I'm going to like it this time. She's going to correct all the problems in the, from the last book. No, she didn't. She made it worse. I tried. I tried. But, uh, yeah. How unprofessional. Okay. All right. And it, like, it was funny because, like, I went and... I clicked on his picture and then like it showed other pictures and guess what book was on his bookshelf like front and center inferno squad it's like hey buddy pick that book up turn it around bud light um to be honest we need a novel about rom kota being a sloppy drunk before star killer found him in the bar that was from, uh, you're talking Starkiller from, I can't, I think, give the name. F is that book. It's a video game. There's two of them. It's, it's late, guys. It's 918. I preserve my energy for Thursday nights these days. Um, quality out doesn't mean, I wouldn't be surprised to actually read that in Disney tie-in to Revenge of the Sith. I haven't had my period this month. What's going on? <laughs> yeah. But it's, what's funny is like it's, it's the YA novel that does this weird stuff. The YA novel that drops curse words. Not in the uh, adult novels. The worst EU story ever. Man, Jeremy, you need to get this book and you need to read it. You do. You need to waste all those hours of your life reading this book. I can't. I want to have a longer discussion about it. I took a lot of notes on it. Maybe when it gets closer to release time, I'll uh, I'll get into it. But I don't. You know, like I think I, I never finished my thought earlier. I don't think about it. everybody's got their own opinion. Everybody like I don't want to discourage people from reading it uh, because everybody has their own opinion. Like Rob is really excited to read about Queen Amidala. He's so excited for it uh but hey it's just everybody's got an opinion you know so you might like it if you guys want it you want to get your copy pre-order it from the link on my uh review i haven't been paid yet because nobody ever orders the books on the links that i provide but hey don't feel guilty i'll just i'll survive uh at least admit rom coda is cool jeremy because jeremy says nope 
Oh, no, he's, he didn't want to read the book. Well, you should. Um, Ram is fine, and so is Proxy. Christopher, you sometimes talk about new art books as if you have to read them before anything else on your list. Yeah, well, you know, kind of push it out. I, I could have put Queen's Peril off uh, until June, but I just wanted to get it out of the way. That way, Force Unleashed. See? Gosh, Force Unleashed is the, the game and book that I was thinking of. Can't get it out. Um, is that the deal with Del Rey that you have to read them, review them, or else no more books? I don't know. I, I just feel like I want to. If you get them, I feel like I'm obligated to do it. Uh, sometimes there's a gem, and sometimes there's garbage. This last one from Disney Lucasfilm Press was just garbage. Ugh. It's disgusting. It was so bad I like to taste it. Ugh. Real coppery. Um, Chris, I don't know if you watched my review on Cream's Peril, but we've got uh, eleven year old girl getting tortured. We have bloody menstruation twice in the book. We have cursing and we have partying and uh, you know, a bunch of drama. It was horrible. Christopher, did your copy of Shatterpoint survive the flood? Yeah, I still have your video of your uh, when you're assessing the damage on my uh, watch list. I'm almost there to it. I was looking forward to, to, to watching that one when you uh, go over those things, both paperback and hardcover. Good. That's good to hear, Chris. Um, Chris, I don't know if you, you saw this or not, but I, I got a personal stamp for my uh, my books. Or I was going through just a few minutes ago and stamping a bunch of stuff. But uh, from the library of Matthew Wilson, the Geeks Attic. It's quite relaxing to do. I have three more shelves of the Expanded Universe to stamp. And then all those fantasy and uh, novelizations to do. Oh, wait. Do they drop the F-bomb in the Queen's Peril? Nope. They say the S-word. Um, but was there full frontal nudity? Well, <laughs> I mean... Can't I don't know how they'd write that in the book. And then she stood staring at her breast, I don't know, space tits. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Looks great, Matthew. Thank you. Yeah. The stamping thing's awesome, uh, Chris. It's, I don't, it was a waste of money to do, but it's fun. I like it. It's my little personal touch on everything. Uh, Dre Jacob says, yeah, one of these Christopher, one of these Christopher will get credit for ghostwriting Shatterpoint. One of these days, yeah. Where is the coin, Adam? Well, hey, guys, I better go. Wife's home. She's going to walk in here and say something silly, so I better get off. Tune in on Thursday. We will do another stream. Guys, thank you so much for watching and conversing with me. Have a good night. I just need to hit the end broadcast button.